For this rotation, my essential reading is the joint guidelines of the American Heart Association and American College of Cardiology. Mine is Mad Magazine. In the U.S. a health care costs are at 15% of GDP. Through satire you can see what's really happening. What do you mean? How's this one? You'll find the best medical facilities in the world. And also the greatest number of people who can't afford them. Very good. If only it wasn't so. The guidelines say that coronary intervention reduces the incidence of MACE. What's MACE? It's an acronym. It stands for major. Adverse. Cardiac. Events. What are they? They include death. Non-fatal myocardial infarction. Severe ischemia. Will need for revascularization. What's so major about those? Death is pretty important. Yes. And it's also something you can be sure about. You don't need a committee to tell you when it has happened. That's true. But it's quite infrequent in most cardiovascular intervention trials. Usually over three quarters of the outcome events are recurrent ischemia or the need for revascularization. And you're not sure of these? Do you think that they can be biased? Yes, because the intervention is randomized but not blinded. Exactly. Imagine if you are the patient and all your friends have had a stent, but you haven't. You may think your treatment is incomplete. So the next time you have symptoms you're more likely to check in for medical attention. This will be counted as a treatment failure. How often does this happen? I don't know. But it only needs to happen one time in 20 to see a 5% absolute difference in the rate of recurrent ischemia, as in most trials. Okay, I accept that. But let's say such a difference isn't biased. Don't you think prevention of ischemia is important? Won't it translate to fewer deaths? You'd hope so. But it's like a paper game on the stock market. It has no real value until you cash it in. Other things may happen in your life. What sort of other things? Like 9-11. So when do you undertake coronary intervention? Professor, if the patient is at very high risk for death, and it looks as though their next event would be their last, this usually means they already have heart failure or significantly impaired LV function. And if they are not that bad, I implement medical treatment and see how things go. Save some of those healthcare dollars for the widows and orphans. Are they even in the guidelines? 